When a horse would rather you didn't enter his space, he might run away, he might step back, or he might simply look to the side. He might look like this, or he might look to the side, and in that case, I'm going to take that cue and I'm going to back away. I would like the horse to want to, to choose to engage in whatever we're doing. I want a real yes. And you can't really get a yes if a horse can't say no. So what we tend to do is create a situation where if the horse says no, there will be repercussions, physical repercussions, mental repercussions. They might psychologically intimidate them. It might be really scary or just mildly irritating. Or they might do something physically pretty strong to them. They trap them and uh, cause them to feel panicked sometimes. And the point is you want to prove to the horse, I can always control you. And in the work I'm doing, it's the opposite of that. I'm saying, you always control yourself. However, I have something you might like. It might be friendship. It might be food. It might be some other resource. It might be a location. It might be access to something. And I'm looking to engage the horse into seeking, finding what he wants. There's something in it for him. The people who bring their horses here are seeking information. They're actively saying, I would like to know how to shift the situation I have with my horse. Or maybe they don't have a bad problem, but they would just like to have it be a little richer, where the horse really has more expression. Often in a horse's eye, you can see it. That horse might be trained to do many, many things. They might, the person might say, well, my horse can do this, and it can do that, and he'll do this and that at liberty. He'll do all these things. But what you really want to look for is the expression in the eye. You want to look for the expression in the face. Is the horse dutifully performing, or is he really engaged? Is he absolutely to it and wanting to be involved in the situation? So some people have a horse that's really trained, yet they know there's something missing, so they're coming looking for that. And other people are just wondering, you know, maybe they've been injured by the animal and they want to know, you know, how can they, how can they manage it? And so the best part for me is to share with them information about how they could create a language that they're mutually enjoying.